What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Swords and Sports Studios, where you'll get a nuanced take with every topic and absolutely no cap. Swords and Sports? Swords and Sports. Swords and Sports! All right, settle in, stay a while, because we're going over all your favorite New York comedy podcasts. Hold the phone, stop the presses, emergency addition to the pod, because Giannis Pappas landed Kujin on the Giannis Pappas Hour. Hey, Kujin. Hey, your sister. Hey, eight and a half marons. Kuj comes out guns blazing, and I love this version of Kuj. He was a little more reserved with Burt Kreischer and the Taste Buds episode that he did. I'm not even going to say anything. Go to the Supercut. We got a very special guest. How we doing? Yeah, Sony Newport, how you doing? <laughs> I get attention from, like, I don't walk out of my house anymore. Like, everybody. You get recognized, yeah, yeah a lot. And I'm quiet. Yeah. You know, I'll take the pictures, I'll shake your hands, I'll throw a smile in there. Yeah. Do one of these. I just love how one minute you're working at a supermarket <laughs> in upstate New York, and the next thing you know, you sit with Martha Stewart. <laughs> This week on Tuesday's Flagrant episode, nobody on the crew can figure out how to get Andrew more credits on the online book reading platform, Audible. Okay, why are you mad at Audible? I can't buy another book on that shit. <laughs> I don't have enough credits. Uh, Try to buy more credits on my Audible bro. right now. Please. I felt like Justin Timberlake in that movie where he ran out of time. What? And I was about to run. What a reference, dude. <laughs> it was a movie from like 13 years ago that no one saw. Yeah. Later, Schultz talks about nobody caring about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Yo, yo, let me tell you something. I mean this sincerely, Prince Harry and Meghan. America don't give a fuck about you. A lot of people care, dude. We don't care about the royal family. 1775 was the last time we gave a fuck. <laughs> but when 1776 came around, we didn't give a flying fuck about y'all. Towards the end of the episode, Al, Alex Media, makes a really profound point that Schultz expands on, which is, it's not fun to be reasonable. It's just people talking like that aren't entertaining. The, yo, facts. <laughs> and we got the it's, algorithm. Yeah. It's not. It's not as fun to be reasonable. I feel like I've written jokes about this shit for fucking years in the most salacious way, and it's way more fun. Yeah. Next up, are you garbage? We got two family eps this week. I love a good guest, but give me just the boys anytime. I'll take it. First episode, we've got an interesting question. Is it garbage to ask for a rogue gain subscription for Christmas? Hey, you're talking to someone who's afflicted and would have loved that. Just kidding. I'm actually part of the 5% of the population that it didn't work for. It's either that or it's all the hair glue that I used in my oomps, oomps, oomps phase. Or is it garbage to ask for a rogue gain subscription as a birthday gift? Fellow bald Kevin, the bald Kevin, I respect it, my man. No, I don't think so. It's probably cheap now. <laughs> it's probably like maybe 15 bucks a month or something like that. It's 28.99 a month. Yeah, but no, that's, you go generic. Oh, it seems like it's working good. <laughs> Oh, Toby's fired. <laughs> hey, you might want to switch over to the real deal. Next up, we got the most memorable stain up. And guess what? Somebody got their question read. Uh, this one's from Chris. Is it garbage to watch the free YouTube apps at 1.25 playback speed, but the paid Patreon ones at normal because I want to get my money's worth? <laughs> Dude, when people they listen to the podcast on one and a half speeds, it's wild. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like Tron to me, dude. Uh, yeah, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I, I, uh -uh. Whatever you got to do to get it in you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you fucking mainlining it, dude. <laughs> Buddy, try a cup of decaf. I get a little flag here, but let me know in the comments if I'm crazy for listening to pods on 1.25 playback speed for obvious reasons. I watch the pods multiple times. Next up, we got Tim Dillon, which is actually like a crossover Joe Rogan episode. Very interesting how they did this. Actually titled it The Joe Rogan Experience. He actually remarks about how people are going to think it's a Rogan episode and he's just going to get all the views. And here's the brilliance of this setup. No one knows it's mine. That's true. So I get all these views because they think it's yours. Right. They think it's back on YouTube. It's great. Right. We don't even say it's mine. Later in the ep, they kind of ass backwards fall into Rogan realizing that he had one of the guys on the FTX board as a guest on his own podcast. There is William McCaskill. Okay. Wait right. a minute. William McCaskill, mentor, philosophy professor at Oxford, chief architect of effective altruism. Didn't we have him on the podcast? The feds break in right I now. Think, oh, wow. That's him. That was Look talking about this. effective altruism. Yeah. He was a very nice guy. And he also reveals that he was almost on Hot Ones until probably what happened was they Googled him Dylan and go, oh. They wanted me for Hot Ones once. And then they go, we got someone else. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Would White you do Lotus? it now? Probably. You don't feel upset that they canceled on you? I was a little, it was a little fucked up, but I'll still do it. Yeah. You have a great hot one. Yeah, so it was weird to me that they would just dip out. They might have Googled me, too, and they were like, wait, what? Like, 
what are we nuts? Like, and I get it. They want like, you know. Speaking of which, Sean Evans from Hot Ones was on Chrissy Chaos, Chris Stefano's podcast. Around the 26 minute mark, uh, there's a little bit of talk about being authentic and that bringing you success, even though Stefano kind of tries to derail the conversation, but Homeless Pimp reels it back in and we get really good conversation from that. You, you're, you haven't followed a traditional route. You got into you know, journalism, thinking like I'm going to be a journalist or whatever. And then, you know, TikTok comes out and everyone's a freaking journalist now. And you're like, well, I'm going to find this other way and take a chance. And I respect that. I do have a question. Speaking what Chris is saying, you're very inspiring for young creators. What's like one piece of oh, advice? Thank you. Maybe this is kind of cliche, but it's like totally true. When we did Hot Ones, it wasn't like I was looking at anything else and being like, oh, I want to do that. But right. it was never anything other than me knowing what escapism provided for people. And so I remember what that did for me, like what the TGIF Family Matters Christmas special did for me, or like what South Park on Wednesday nights did for me. So when I think about the Thursday 11 a.m. upload, like who's there, who's like working in a cubicle, has sort of like a, eh, okay, like, like relationship with their professional life, but they love that on Thursdays, they can watch the Hot Ones episode during their lunch break. Then all they got is an afternoon after that and Friday, and then it's the weekend. And the way that it can kind of pace out your life right. and be just sort of like this dopamine hit that you can depend on and that you can look for. And all I was trying to do was deliver that to other people the way that that was delivered for me. Next up is Hey Babe, Sal is back and the guessos are in trouble. Couple of notable moments from this one, purely going off of what they say, but we find out there was at least some kind of a communication between Hey Babe and Young Gravy to be a guest host, but that never really materialized. Additionally, we find out the No Press Network was gonna be called the Gravy Baby Network, but that never happened either. And you said Young Gravy was supposed to be on our podcast possibly. Yes, and the first name was Young Gravy that came to our mind, and he lives out in Minnesota, and yes. was, was in New York, and we were gonna try to coordinate it and God all that, him. but we couldn't, but we still are talking to Young Gravy actively. Uh, Young Gravy, do you know that, people might not know this, but before this was the No Press Network, we, we, we renamed it that at the last second, we were gonna call the network Gravy Baby. We were gonna call it Gravy Baby, yeah. and then we would've been promptly sued by Young Gravy. <laughs> Next up, we got Tuesdays with Stories with Mark Norman and Joe Liss. Mark Norman needs a quick five minute break after touting eating hard boiled eggs. I'm in a lot of pain here. I think something's wrong with me. My stomach, it's killing me. That Could egg. All the oil. Don't eat eggs. Could be the egg. I might have to, to, I might have an emergency here. Let me, I don't want to ruin the show. Let me run to the bathroom. Great yeah, show. Yeah, you're okay, buddy. Oh, it's okay. Pause. Joe lightens the mood a little bit uh, by saying this is exactly what their producer, Chuck, has been waiting for, an opportunity to step in for Mark. By the way, this is Chuck's dream come true. No, right no, now. no, we're not keeping this. By the way, Chuck gets a lot of flack in the Patreon and YouTube comments. Uh, I think you're blind if you don't realize that the podcast has gotten actually much better since he's taken over the reins. And finally, after Mark comes back, they finally get into which celebrity is going to die in 2023. All right. We're back. Woo, sorry about that. I had a miscarriage. I don't know what that was. Well, this is a fun one we get to put on the record. What celeb will die next year? I'm scared because what if they die? It'll be like we cursed them. No, you nailed it. That's good. All right, folks, that's the episode, and there's the music. All right, make sure to like and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Sound off in the comments about pods that we didn't necessarily get to, and we'll try to next time, and peace.